and here we are. Me and Cody again. About to tear down the old 5.3 and see what's wrong with her. We'll be back. The great antifreeze spill of 2019. We're back. About to pull the pan off this thing. I got a little dead blow there if you need it. Do what? So I got a little dead blow. We'll see what we need. Nope. Nope. Sure don't. Ah, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Is that that's a wasp or a bee? Looks like it. Look in there though. Yo, that's nasty. It looks like nobody even cleaned this thing, dude. Ever. Holy Toledo. Oh man. Yo, look at this thing. Get the light in there too. Wake up too. There's chunks off in there. That's fantastic. Keep it rolling, bud. This off. Fresh o ring, brand new. Look at that. Hey. Oh, that's part of bearing. That one's gone. Uh, normally, you can see like heat marks, but uh, with this looking like that, anything. you can't see anything. Yo, See. that oil is just trashed. Man. Cut yourself? Yep. Bad. Look at that bearing right there. I didn't see it. Yo, I just sliced the shit out of my finger. It ain't an LS engine if you don't cut yourself. For real. That one's got some play on her, too. Yeah, that's good. All right. We'll go ahead and pull her down, but we know those two are trash. Yep. Just a little update. That is not how bearings are supposed to look. They're not supposed to come out the side like that. That one's got the bolt on the bottom. Dog. Oh, shit. Dirt. So far, we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. At least six of them spun. At least. We'll come back. How not to remove bearings. Look at that beauty. There was a chunk just stuck right there. People are probably like, oh, you're gonna hurt the crank. I don't care about any of this. We ain't reasoning any of it. Ugh. I think we could reuse those if we wanted. Though. The bearings might be okay, yeah. Well, they got a couple more passes, I think. Maybe versus the RX-7 again. We'll have to. Put this back together and get a as rematch. It looks like this. I think I'll be all right. Yeah. No, nah, I'm driving next time. <laughs> RX7. I got to win something. I can't be losing. I don't want to. I'm not used to that. <laughs> not with this motor anyway. For real. Oh my. Yo, I don't even think I'm gonna get this bearing off here. She's just she's stuck forever. Oh, there we go. Maybe, maybe that'll be it. Oh yeah, cherry. Brand new! I don't think that has, I mean, two, three thou clearance, maybe. 
This is what happens when you run LS7 head gaskets on a 5.3. You really can't see anything else, but it did blow out there. Exhaust was, gaskets. What did I say? Head gaskets. Oh my gosh, I'm a retard. Anywho, exhaust gaskets. You want to run some LS9 head gaskets. Uh, just a little bit of calibrated exhaust leak. Due to uh, personal casualties, I think we're done tearing this down for now. All we really got to get off of it is this front cover here for that fitting. AN fitting, welded on there. Turbo drain back. And we got to get these off, but we uh, lost a tool right there, RIP, and I lost a finger. So it did spin, I'm pretty sure, every bearing, every rod bearing for sure. I don't know about uh, mains or cam yet, but I mean, the cam was a stock cam. The, you know, none of this matters. We don't care about anything except for this and the mounts. That's the only thing we're going to have to use. The 4.8's already got different heads for it, uh, custom cam, all the goodies, man. So we're good. Maybe some covers or something, but that's about it. See you, Cody. Peace. <laughs> Let's not do that. Tight him up, dude. Sure thing, bud. <laughs> See how many ugga duggas it'll take. <laughs> Good thing we're not using any of this. Well, I don't know. We might reuse this whole pump. Psych. Full oil pumps on a 4.8. Uh, probably a 355 or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. If it's not that, then it's like a, <coughs> one of the high output GM ones. <coughs> I can't remember though. <coughs> I used to use the GM high outputs and then I switched to the mowing. Or however you want to it say. was on Jay's car. We were having a bunch of trouble with the GM ones, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Should have done a lip. No, not really. If you had to use it in a bind, I'm sure you could. A bind. Like this engine. <laughs> this engine is in a bind. A big one. You know, we probably did we already Yeah, no, we haven't loosened off. We gotta loosen as well. What's up? Uh, the rockers. Oh yeah. Still got spring pressure on. Y'all sir? It's not much, but it still does have pressure. Don't worry, we got an impact. Probably a good thing. <laughs> I wish people online could smell this engine. <laughs> They're probably glad that they can't smell it. For real. <laughs> it smells like mechanical failure. Participation trophy, though. Everybody gets one. Let's have a game of how many I can fit in the end. Or if we can round it off. Not that My many. God. <laughs> Too many. Wow. Yeah, nearly got away from all that torque. Not you're, as much as my Honda makes. You're putting all those in our reusable bolts bucket. We can reuse everything. <coughs> Except for those uh, push rods, I guess. We really don't want to reuse them. <coughs> but all these rockers are cherry. <coughs> 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 Here, we'll put all these push rods in the old pan. These are reusable. Ooh. You see anything? Well, I had a pretty good snag to it there. Cam 
Did you rotate her? Yeah. Oh, the one we got rods in there. Who did this to us? All right, watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it, Josh. Well, <laughs> the block may still be safe, but we better not. <laughs> You're just gonna see how hard you can rip it out of there. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't think that it's fun to can bearing. Although it is a little tight, maybe it did. But usually, nah, I bet it didn't, because usually it'd be stuck. Come on, baby. Yeah. Like gander at that peach, dude. I may have to put this cam in my nitrous car. Psych. Alrighty. How the cam bearings look? Don't know if you don't look. Cherry. Alrighty. Busted all those loose. Give it. It's still got the bearing in it, but it's all beat to hell. I don't think it's spun any of these yet. Oh no. What happened? You make her come in from this side. There you go. All right, got the back cover off. There we go, the last one. Cherry. Well, be a pain in the butt then. I don't think it spun this one because I can feel it. That one looks all right. That one doesn't look very good, but it didn't spin. Ooh, look at that. Golly, I ain't never seen it that bad. And that one's in the main caps. That one's good. See if you can turn it now, bud. The reason that we did it this way uh, is because we couldn't turn the thing anymore. Ooh, she's turning now. Maybe that one was a little bit of a problem. We still got plugs in it. Yeah, we still got plugs in it. We can take the plugs out real quick, and it'll be easier to turn over. Uh, I'm gonna go a little farther, and then we can get this one off. But we can pull the plug real quick. Oh, it's, yeah, you're just lifting the crank. Uh, we also need to probably move that. We'll be back whenever we're ready to pull the crank out. All right, so mains were good. Spun both of those. That one was trashed. I don't think it really spun yet, but it had a lot of stuff going through it, and it just ate it up. Uh, spun both of those. That one, it got a lot of trash going through it, but it didn't look like it spun. Uh, looks like this one spun though. I don't know. Both of those spun. Both of those spun. This one back here looks okay. So we'll pull it out and for sure go through everything and check it out. All right, we got the crank out. Uh, none of the main bearings spun, so that's a good thing. They all look like trash, but they didn't spin. Ooh. No, I, don't, I think that one was off the top. Hopefully that one was off the top. That one may have spun. I think the block is savable. Because it didn't look like it spun any cam. I think the only thing it spun really was the rods that tore up the crank. So if we wanted to use this block, we'd have to use a new crank. But good thing, block is not trashed. So now we'll flip it over, pull the heads, and then pull all the rods and pistons out. 
and we got it flipped over. I just want to give a shout out to the bearing that cut my finger. I'm pretty sure this is the one that cut it, but pretty wild how it just pushes it out the side. Pretty crazy, man. And to think, we probably raced it with these locking down. Oh, I'm sure. Like, LS engines, man. And we're back. All right, uh, we just used the impact and took off all the head stud nets. So, we're ready to pull some heads. Let's get it, bud. Give it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, those aren't LS nines, but hey, they work. They lasted longer than the bottom end, bud. They sure are copper coated. For real, they're stuck too. Actually, those may be LS nines. No, yeah, they are LS nines. Okay. I just couldn't see all the layers back there. Several layers. For real, dude. Can you go ahead and pull that one? Yeah. Bad. At least a head gasket didn't blow. Let's see. Yeah, those look cherry, man. I like it. All right, now we'll pull out all the pistons and lifters and sitch, and then go from there. All right, we got the lifters out, lifter trays too, of course. Uh, believe it or not, we didn't drop one in the kitty litter. No, nah, I'm just kidding. We dropped nearly all of them. Cherry. All right, so now we'll flip this thing over. And is that another lifter or what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what works. Probably one of the, well, let's see. That's not a 12 point. Oh, no, that's uh, the windage tray bolt. I had dropped one in the engine, so whenever we flipped it over, it fell out. Ah. Yep, yep. Put it to the box. All right. Anyway, we're going to flip this back over and push all the pistons out. And... These will make great like clocks or something because they're useless. It's Gen 3 stuff, so you, I mean, you'd be way better off with Gen 4. Plus, all the rods are trashed because whenever you spin a bearing, it uh, oversizes the rod a little bit. No good. So, we'll do that. Alright, be real careful. Oh, shit. Hey, at least they all landed perfectly on the floor. <laughs> cool. Well, that's uh, that's it, folks. Good job, Clayton. Thanks.